Hello friends, this video on integers part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was pretty much about uh, a basic introduction to integers. Now let's look at this one. We have two kids and you know they, they one of them look quite happy with the score in his exam but the other one looks quite sad. So now these two people, let's say that you are playing a game where you have teams and each team consists of two people. So in this but in this particular team which we see on the screen, there is one boy who seems to be very happy and there is another girl who is kind of sad. Now let's say that the boy says that he scored 8 and the girl says that she scored minus 2. So she didn't score well and that is why she is not very happy at all. So now they want to know that how much did they score as a team. So at together how much did they score? One of them scored 8, the other person scored minus 2. So how much they scored together? So basically what we need to do, we need to add the score of the first person with the score of the second person. So we basically need to add 8 and minus 2. So how do we add a positive integer with a negative integer? So that is our next assignment that is what we need to learn now so let's learn about addition of integers using a number line so once we are used to adding using a number line then we will be able to do it just like that also so once you start learning how to add integers on number line there is one simple rule that you need to remember so whenever you are adding a positive number to any number so whenever you are adding a positive number to any number, you need to move right on the number line. Now you might say that how do I remember this? It's, it's quite difficult to remember that adding a positive number, we have to move right. Adding a negative number, adding a negative number, we have to move left. So how do I remember this? So I'll give you a very simple and very logical memory tip. Now, what do you think? If you add positive things in your life, if you add positive habits to your life, is that a right thing to do? Yes, that is a right thing to do. So that means adding positive habits to your life is the right thing to do. So that's how you remember this. That is add positive number, move right. So whenever you are adding a positive number, you are basically adding positive habits to your life. And as in adding positive habits to your life is the right thing to do. So you move right. So this is how you remember this entire thing. So now let me take an example. So let's say that you have a number minus 3. So let's say you have a number minus 3 and you are adding plus 2 to minus 3. So you have to find out their sum. That means you have to add minus 3 and plus 2. So since you are adding a positive number plus 2 to minus 3. So that means you are currently at minus 3. So where will you move since you are adding positive 2. So adding positive numbers to your life. So if you are adding positive habits to your life, that's the right thing to do. So you will move towards the right. And how many steps towards the right? You would move two steps. So one step and two steps. So where have you arrived? You have arrived at minus 1. So this shows that minus 3 plus 2 is equal to minus 1. Pretty simple, right? Just one simple tip to remember that add positive habits to your life. That's the right thing to do. That's it. Now let's look at the vice versa thing. Now do you think that adding negative habits to your life. Now negative habits could be telling lies, uh, becoming dishonest, uh, I mean not following discipline. So all those things might be negative habits in your life. So if you add negative habits to your life, is that the right thing to do? That's not the right thing. So that means you are not going to move right. So where are you going to move? Obviously you are going to move towards the left. So in this case also let's take one example. So let's say that you have a number say minus 3. Again you have the same number minus 3 but this time you want to add minus 2 to minus 3. So basically you are adding a negative number to an existing number. So in this case which side will you move? You will move towards the left. So from the same number minus 3 you take two jumps towards left and where do you reach? You reach at minus 5. So therefore the sum would be minus 5 in this case. So this is how we learn addition of integers on number line. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.